What's going on guys? Today we have another comment response video. This comment's coming from Nightfall147. He's actually left me a couple comments about this design. Uh, the first comment he says, can you do hacking the matrix and scorching zero? Um, I've already discussed with him about hacking the matrix. I already have a matrix uh, design video and you can basically do hacking the matrix with that video if you just angle your waves in a different way. I've already discussed that with him. But today what we're going to do is scorching zero. Uh, his second comment, he actually said, can you make a scorching zero? So he just straight up wants that. So that's what we're going to make today, guys. So if you go to YouTube and you type in Razer keyboard lighting, the top video you're going to see most likely is top 15 black widow chroma effects and it's a video by puff and plucky 76 uh it's got the most views it's uh a really well-known video it's got a bunch of good keyboarding or keyboard lighting profiles in there anyways like the third or fourth profile you're gonna find is scorching zero which is the keyboard profile that nightfall wants on his keyboard so that is the keyboard lighting video that we're going to work on today and we're going to get right into it and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go. Alright guys, so I'm really sorry but today my second webcam kind of crapped out on me so I don't have my keyboard camera that, you, that I typically do have in um, most of my other videos. But we're going to do this design anyway. Uh, you can still see what it looks like on the Razer Chroma Studio. I'm still going to put some footage up of my keyboard and what it looks like um, from a video camera. So you still get to see that. But anyways, we're going to get right into this video and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, guys, so we're just going to start out with a blank slate. We just got a static layer right here. And from watching the video, it looks like uh, this bottom the row of keys never changes. It's just constantly on red. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this bottom row right here um, all the way to the function key. And I'm going to make it red and hit save. This design kind of splits up the middle right here so you got like a fire on one side ice on the right so now we're going to create a wave so come down here bottom left create this create a wave effect layer we're going to select this next row of keys and we're going to choose a three-tone gradient on the left node we want to just select red right node red in this middle node i'm going to select this orange color and I'm going to kind of drag it a little more red because I don't want it to change a whole lot. And once I have that, just a slight tinge of red orange in the middle, that's going to be good for me. And I'm going to angle this up at zero. With that 100 is good. I'm going to speed down quite a bit. Uh, change the speed to about four. That all looks good. I'm going to hit save. This is kind of like the coals of the fire, just kind of lightly heating up. All right. So now we're going to get into the flame of the design. So continuing on with our wave effect layer, we're going to hold control and I'm going to select ASDF. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select F80 and that's it just right there okay so we're gonna choose a three-tone gradient we're gonna have on the left node we're gonna have a red right node we're gonna have red middle node is gonna be orange okay just like that that looks good so now that we've changed our gradient color what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change our width percentage to 200 and that looks good angle at 90 is perfect we're gonna hit save now what we're going to do guys is we're basically just going to recopy this 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 light and change angles and and sizes and stuff like that to make the flame look live select one of these colors you've made right here i'm just going to choose the f key Control c on it and then select off and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of highlight some different 
lights in here something like this so um, I have these select keys and I'm gonna hit control V on it so we're pasting that same exact design okay guys so once we've selected our keys what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce our speed down to about 12 reduce our speed down to about 8 okay and we're gonna hit save just like that we're just gonna keep that one the same we're just changing the speed is all so these are actually the same exact designs it's just a different speed so it kind of makes it a little bit different in there and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select we're gonna hit control V or C on that design again and we're gonna select every other key in the left side of the keyboard that we have not altered yet so this key this key anything that's black right now just like that we're gonna select those keys control V on them and we're gonna angle up at about 351 or just anywhere up okay so after you've changed your angle up we're gonna change our width percentage to 300 and we are going to up our speed to about um, 17 that all looks good I'm gonna hit save and that's pretty much just the fire on the left side of your keyboard that's pretty much gonna be all it looks like so we're gonna select the eye side ice keys I'm just gonna select the whole area deselect the fire keys holding control um, now that I have my keys selected I'm gonna choose a three-tone gradient and for the left node I'm gonna choose blue light blue right node light blue middle node I'm gonna choose dark blue and I'm just gonna kind of close it in a little bit just like this okay just like that uh, we're gonna change our angle up to zero and we're gonna change our speed down to four okay so it looks just like this and we're gonna hit save so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into several vertical lines in here and just change the where the nodes and the gradient are so um, I'm gonna hold control I'm gonna select these keys these keys these keys and these keys right here and now that I have them selected I'm gonna click on my gradient here and I'm just gonna drag these nodes over to the left side a little bit just like that okay now that those are changed that's all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna hit save same thing I'm gonna hold control and select uh, a few other different keys select these select these and I'm gonna click on the gradient and I'm just gonna drag them to the right this time we're just throwing a little bit of variance in our in our gradient color across the ice keys so just like this I'm gonna hit save that's pretty much our fire and ice um, looking at the video it it looks like uh, every once in a while there's a dark blue wave that goes to the right on the ice so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another wave layer down here So with this new wave layer up here, I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to select all my ice keys again. Deselect the fire ones, holding control. And I'm going to go to my color gradient. I'm going to choose a three-tone gradient. We're going to make it the same color, okay? Got light blue, dark blue, light blue. And it's going to go across just like that. I'm going to change my with percentage down to 50 just makes it a little bit quicker like that this wave we don't want to constantly be overriding the other wave for the ice keys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add like an eight second pause okay add an eight second pause in there the 15 speeds fine everything else is fine we're just gonna hit save so now if you look at the design it's gonna have its original vertical uh, wave going up and then every eight seconds there'll be one that goes sideways so every eight seconds you're gonna see a wave go sideways all right that's it for the fire and ice now we gotta add um, our ripple effect on them so we're gonna come down here to the bottom left and we're gonna click on ripple 
And now that our ripples up here, we have it selected. We're going to select all the fire keys, hold control, deselect the ice ones. Um, now that these keys are selected, we're going to click on our gradient up here and we are going to choose a solid color, just one color. Okay. And, uh, in the fire section, we're, I'm going to choose a light blue. You can make it any blue you want. You can drag it kind of in between, make it this color right here. That looks good. Um, with percentage, I'm going to move down to 100. We're going to have our uh, speed at 7, uh, width at 100%, on press, and we're going to hit save. So now you can see there's a blue ripple inside your red. Okay, so we're going to continue this out uh, throughout in the ice. So we're going to select our ice. Continuing on with our ripple layer, we're going to hold control, deselect the fire, change our gradient to a single color, make it a red orange color, width percentage 100, speed 7, uh, and that all looks good. And we're going to hit save. All right, guys, so now that we have our ripple effect on both the fire and the ice side, when we press any button now, it's going to ripple blue on the fire side and it's going to ripple orange on the ice side. And last but not least, we can't neglect our razor logo here. So we're going to select our razor logo. Select this wave layer that you made recently right here. Just go ahead and select that one. Click on our razor logo. We're going to select our gradient. We're going to choose a multi pattern just like this. I'm just going to leave it stock just like that and I'm going to hit save. So now our razor logo is multiple colors, which is exactly how they have it in the video. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. My kids woke up from their nap just in time for the end of the video. If you guys like the design, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more design videos like this one in the future. Thank you for watching. See you guys later. Jack, say bye-bye.